So what do you do when you're not feeling well? I will give you a few exercises that you can do today. Hey mamas, it's Tori from Mommy Bar. Uh, recently, the past week or two, has been lots of heartburn if I lay down. So that has put off some of my laying down exercises I wanted to do or working out on the reformer or Pilates tower. So we're just gonna do a really quick exercise circuit today. And I hope you enjoy and let me know. Make sure you like, your video, like the video, subscribe to our channel so you get all the updates and you can follow along with our other exercises. warming up those ankles and this is important just because you don't want to overextend anything because of the relaxing in your body and also this just gets me ready to go gets me able to feel that core and pelvic floor engaged and we're going to do one more thing here all right so we're going to take our feet out to the side Arms are going to go out. This is really going to be some nice, nice warming up. Really working on that core and pelvic floor. We're going to take a nice inhale down. Exhale, squeeze. Feel like your pelvic floor is squeezing and lifting you up. And like that's zipping all the way up to here. Keeping that in. Each time you're getting tighter and tighter. Inhale, relaxing that pelvic floor. Exhaling, squeezing up. Push nice and squeeze and circle those arms. Don't forget about that belly button. Hold in nice and tight. Good reverse that. Four more, three more, two more, and last one, good. All right, we're gonna come and do some of my favorites, these marches. Make sure you keep those shoulders pulled down and back so you're engaging in those shoulder blades. Ribs are engaged and your belly button is pulled in as much as you can, feeling like you have that corset on supporting your core, supporting your spine, and supporting baby. Okay, we're gonna add in some arms. You have some weights at home. Go right ahead and hold on. Use these. I like to go with a one to three pound weight, just so then you're not using your shoulders. And you're still just getting a nice little toning workout for those arms. I just didn't grab any, and I don't feel like getting them right now. of where you can find these if you don't have any. All right, so you're gonna step on here. Feet are gonna be stay hip width apart. And we're just gonna do some biceps. So you want those shoulders pulled back and down, elbows staying nice and tight next to you. We're just gonna pull up and down. I like to inhale, exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down because you feel that opposition of your arms pulling up and you might feel like you're bearing down, but you want to feel that zipping up, really supporting your core. All right, from there, 
You're going to pull your arms out to the side. Shoulders are going to stay down. I like to just go out and in. Just a teeny tiny bit. And you can go a little bit to the back as well. That's going to really work those back muscles right around your shoulder blades as well as your triceps. Three more, two more, and last one. All right, we're going to take one of our feet out. Oops, I'm losing it. All right, you want that um, band under the ball of your front foot. We're going to get into a nice little lunge. I'll show you to the side here. While you're in this lunge, don't stick your belly out. Don't stick your hips forward, just nice and stacked here. And from here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hinge forward just a little bit and that's gonna be pulling to the back. That's really gonna be more triceps there. Good. You can switch legs. We're just doing 10 on each leg, even though it's for your arms. All right, now this is a fun one. You're going to keep that band over one foot and you're going to grab down and reach down a little bit. This is really important about keeping that core tight, hips square, and feet in line with each other. What we're going to do is you're going to go to the side, inhale, exhale, pull up and over. So I want you to watch this arm is doing nothing other than holding onto the band. What is doing the work is your core and your obliques. And I like to do 20 on each side. And you can limit or extend your range of motion however you feel comfortable. You can just do it very small, or you can do it very big. Just making sure you're maintaining that core stabilization and working on those pelvic floor muscles as well. All right, so I'm going to switch legs and switch sides. So what I like to do is you just bring both edges together, pull up, and then round further down. Good. We're going to do 20 on this side as well. And I want those, this shoulder to stay down. I don't want this going on. Again, your arm, shoulder is doing nothing. Just holding on to that band. And if you feel like this extend, like this further range of motion is too much, just stick with a nice little small side to side. You'll still really feel it. Just use this 
and wrap it around right above our knees, above our thighs. And what you want to do is you want to pull that nice and tight. And wrap it. And it will roll, so you'll just have to be comfortable with it digging into your legs a little bit. I tie it in a bow because then it's easier to get out and then it fits in a knot. We're going to get hold on to the bar. We're just going to start doing some ballets. Up and down. Finding that pelvic floor core, shoulders over the hips and ankles. Good. You want to keep those heels up and pulse down and up an inch for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. All right, you're going to turn your toes out just slightly. Heels are going to be together. We're going to do some little plies. Squeeze and really resist that band as you straighten your legs. You're going to press that out, resist it on the way in. Four more, three more, two more, last one. All right, what you're going to do here, feet are going to stay exactly where they are. So we're going to releve, and we're going to do a nice big deep plie squat with those heels lifted. So we're going to bend down, squeeze up. Really pulling that belly button in each time. Inhale, exhale out. And two more here. And last one. Okay, now what you're going to do, you're going to bend down, you're going to stay in that. We're going to pulse those knees out and in. Sorry, I had to adjust because that's how it had looped itself. You're going to feel this in your thighs, in your quads, as I fall over, and your glutes and outer thighs. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, we're going to turn those feet out a little bit. We're going to do the same thing. Make sure this isn't like digging into your kneecap. We don't want to push anything out of place. Here, you're just going to do a teeny little bend. And you're not really bringing your knees forward. You're trying to turn them and push them towards the back. And if it's too hard with the band, you can take that off or you can loosen it. That's not a problem. Four more, three more, two more, and last one. Good, I really feel that burn. All right, since I have the band already on, I'm going to slide it down to like right above my ankles. We're going to do some side work here. So this is really going to be outer thighs. If you're not feeling like you have any stabilization, if your SI joint feels out or that it's, pop, it's like going in and out because you're so mobile right now, um, take your band off. But if you feel like your muscles are really good, we're just going to take you out and in. You're going to do a little step out and in. Two 
Two more here. Last one. Go to right switch sides now. Step out. And in. Two more. Last one. All right, from here, you're gonna stand on your left leg. We're just gonna take that leg out slightly to the side, out and in. Again, this is really about stabilizing those hips, using that core, and holding yourself in your hip, not sinking into it. You want to make sure that your outer thigh and your glute is really doing the work on that stabilizing leg. I have a problem with a lot of times on my right leg that my hip flexor takes over. So I'm really working on getting the right muscles built up there and not just resorting into my hip flexors. All right, we're going to do one more thing with our band. I'm going to shuffle my leg around here. And what I do is I stick my heel out with one leg. What you're going to do is you're going to press back. Like you're pressing that heel into the floor. You can bend that bottom leg too. All right. So you're not doing anything with your hips. Those are staying in line right below your shoulders. Right above that ankle that's supporting you. It's really just pressing into that. You're going to get that through your glute and your hamstring. All right, we did about 15 on that side, so we're going to do 15 on the other side. So I focus the band back up over my leg, my left leg now, sticking my right heel out. Press back into that. Make sure you keep breathing and not holding your breath. Four more. Three more. Two more, and last one. Good. You can say the riddance to this band for today. And we're gonna stretch. And then that'll be a nice little, that will be our standing workout for today. So that was a lot on our um, outer thighs, hip flexors, and glutes. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off standing on your legs, and you're going to stretch over to the side. You'll feel that all along here. And we're going to come up, and we're going to switch to the other side. Stretch over there. And really by that, I just mean you're straight 
and you're just pushing this like straight back, straight hips forward. And you can play around with it's really is up to each individual person and their flexibility. If you need to bend that bottom knee, that back knee, and straighten it, how that feels for stretching your hip flexor. So we're going to switch sides. Press that back heel into the floor for a nice calf stretch. to our videos. All right, I'll see you next time at the bar.